this North Vietnamese officer uh, walked into the bureau. I offered him some Coke and pound cake and uh, uh, they showed us maps of how they entered the city and uh, they took out photos of uh, their loved ones and we talked and uh, I realized then that uh, you know here's the North Vietnamese soldier, myself, an American, uh, Matt Frangiola, Peter, the South Vietnamese, and I realized that uh, we were all, had the same feeling, we were all the same. And, you know, we were, we wanted to get back to our families, to our loved ones, we wanted to be with them. We didn't want to die here, and uh, at any rate, uh, I was kind of in my head tallying uh, the casualty toll. Uh, nearly 60,000 Americans killed, uh, 224,000 South Vietnamese fighters killed, uh, 1,000 communist fighters killed, and uh, 2 million. I'm sorry, let me back that up. Uh, I gave you the wrong figures. I was tallying up the toll in my head uh, of, of the dead. Uh, 224,000 uh, South Vietnamese killed, uh, 1 million communist fighters killed, 2 million civilians killed, nearly 60,000 Americans dead. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, we're all the same. What a pity so many were killed in the uh, Vietnam War when indeed you know, we're all human beings with the same uh, feelings. And uh, yesterday and the day before, I was reunited uh, with the North Vietnamese uh, officer who walked into that bureau that day, and I asked him if he had come to arrest us, and he said no, he had come to ensure that we were safe and to secure our building. And uh, he said to me, uh, no one wanted the war. Uh, the people didn't want war. It was the governments uh, that, want, that uh, created this war. I'm all right. I didn't bring enough tissue, but I'll be. It looks so different, you know, with the apartments now. But while the uh, while the rest of what is now called Ho Chi Minh City has been built up, uh, nothing has changed here in this building, uh, or I mean, in, in the uh, former AP Bureau. Uh, some of the uh, the bottom floors of this building have been renovated, but uh, you're really looking at the the old Saigon that we knew as uh, war correspondents. I remember too uh, during the war, my middle, uh, my two sons, uh, Mike and uh, Tom, who were both born here in. Uh, in Saigon were toddlers and they used to come into the office to see me and play around with the telephone. We had a an old white refrigerator in the office where we kept coke and some beer and uh, when these two North Vietnamese officers came in I, uh, I offered them some all I had left was some Coke and some Stell uh, pound cake, and uh, they they remembered that yesterday. Uh, the one the one officer remembered that I had offered them Coke and cake.
Jeez. These buildings are so deteriorated. They haven't changed in 30 years, but you'll notice the uh, all these TV antennas are up. Uh, that's a huge change from, uh, from uh, 30 years ago. Your floor is the same here. I'm looking out here. Uh, you you can see the Caravel. You can see the new uh, Sheraton Hotel. It's amazing the uh, development uh, in the Ho Chi Minh City. None of this. Uh, was here during the war. As a matter of fact, uh, many of these uh, buildings were uh, apartment buildings were and old uh, Vietnamese hotels occupied by uh, American troops. And they're all gone. And the Caravel was here then, but it, it's been so, it, it's been re remodeled, uh, there have been additions to it, and you you can't recognize it really as the old uh, caravel. You know, you you can you can always come back to Saigon, but you can never really recreate uh, those war days. But it, I think it brings a sentimentality, and uh, it's very nostalgic just to have that feeling of, to recapture uh, your youth, to recapture the excitement uh, of the old Saigon as the war correspondents uh, knew it. And this building here to me is a historic because it housed the uh, Associated Press. And I think that means so much to me. But I fear that down the road, uh, because of the economic development, this building is uh, eventually will be demolished. It's a choice uh, piece of property, and I probably in the next uh, few years we'll see another hotel uh, go up here. Uh, and again, as I look back on the war days, this this was kind of the nerve center of the Vietnam War, where everyone gathered. Uh, you had. Horse Foss's dark room in here. Uh, you had Vietnamese stringers rushing in uh, with their film uh, out in the newsroom. You had Peter, myself, uh, pounding out stories. We had a Vietnamese staff at work. It was just really an exciting time. And uh, I can think about it, but I can't recreate it. And I can't recapture my youth. I was uh, 34 uh, when I arrived here in the summer of 1965. And I ended up staying 10 years. One moment. As I walk around Saigon, I, I feel very old. Uh, I'm 72 now, but uh, more than half of the uh, Vietnamese population of uh, 84 million or, or 25 or under. And I don't see the older uh, generations, except for the woman who sells soft drinks uh, on the first floor. Uh, she, she remembered me. But now I, uh, I walk around and I'm seeing just a so many young people, which is good. And uh, Saigon doesn't have the old feel that it had during the war days. It's just changed so much in terms of the uh, population turnover, in terms of the uh, development. It's a pity that uh, 
uh, some of the uh, older buildings uh, weren't better preserved, but uh, this country was really uh, economically uh, right after the war, and uh, I think they lacked the funds to to really do as much as they'd like to. And it seems they're putting all their money uh, really into new hotels and uh, new uh, developments, office buildings that will uh, improve their cash flow. And that's tour tourism, and that's really what they're interested in right now. See, some of the original sinks and stuff are still in there, Peter. Some of the original, that was a dark room. You see some of the original, the sink and uh, um, this, this was the uh, dark room, uh, Peter, and this is all original. Nothing, the flooring, this uh, big sink here, it, it's, it's all the same. Uh, and uh, you can see another uh, sink uh, over to my left. Uh, that's all the same. Of course, then we didn't have digital, so uh, all the technology has changed over the from the war days. This is the uh, original dark room, and then Horace's uh, uh, photo operation. His office was right next door. Uh, in the rear, both the, the dark room here and Horse's uh, desk and uh, was. And you can see all these sinks that uh, they used are still original. <laughs> 